Now we're back at you with the next installment of the full bathroom remodel. I don't know what it is, four or five, what have you. Anyway, this is a crucial one, folks. This is all about layout. This is layout for the tile in the shower. Your layout is key. I got my laser level up and I'm just using my line and my level as a straight edge to draw that line all the way around the tub. I measured this line, I was trying to hit uh, 11 and 7 eighths of an inch because this tile is 11 and 3 quarters plus an eighth of an inch joint. So that's what I did. This is my 11 and 7 eighths inch level line off the tub. Now I lay out and see exactly where my tiles fall. In doing so, I realized I need to drop this down and have an eight inch piece below and that'll give me an eight inch piece above. I want equal pieces on the bottom and the top. I don't want an awkward small cut at the top by starting with a full. So I've adjusted my line. I'm dropping it down to eight inches and I'm marking all the way around. Now I've also marked out the start of my niche. I want my niche shelf to fall out to be perfect tile work. So that's a huge work in progress, takes a lot of uh, math and a lot of layout. As I said, the box is gonna be 12 by 12 on the inside of the opening. The tile themselves lay out to about 11 and 7 eighths of an inch with the joints in them. So I get my, my niche shelf, I put my level line up at where I think it's going to fall, and then I double and triple check my layout and make sure it's exactly right. Now I let the lip hang down, that's two more inches down below. I take my level, I mark that straight across, and that's what I'm gonna be cutting out. I'm gonna be using a cutout tool and cutting out the perimeter. That little side of the niche is gonna be sit on the two by fours, and that's gonna recess, so it's gonna be sit flush with the backer board. As you can see, now it's time to get our cutout tool. We have it laid out, it is plumb level and squared. We're gonna be using our cutout tool and cutting this perfect square. Keep in mind, you'll need a bit of a carbide tip to be cutting through the hardy backer cement board. Once you cut it, chisel a little bit of an opening so that you can pull it off and remove it. There were screws, so remove the screws. Now take your box, plop it in, and see if it fits. Now you'll notice that there's mason lath on the back that has stucco. These are plastered walls, so I have to chisel that out a little bit so my box can sit flush with the backer board. The backer board is half inch, and this is half inch, so it's going to sit perfectly flush once I get it cut out properly. Try it one more time, and here you can see it sits perfectly flush all the way around. Now to fasten this. We use the same backer screws, but what we do is we get big washers over them, so the washers will hold down our Schluter shelf. And you also want to make sure you get the galvanized washers so that they can handle moisture because we will, this is a wet area. We're going to go ahead and put six screws in here. Then we're going to get our ProLite thin set that we basically use to spackle our shower areas where the boards meet and all our screw holes. And we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to be cutting it in all the way around. Then we're going to use our, tight, our mesh tape and we're going to tape all the way around. And then we're going to go over it with another coat all the way around. Again, this is thin set, it's pro light. Now that this is done, it's time to turn our attention to the red guard. Again, this board is water resistant, not waterproof. We paint our red guard on two coats and two coats of red guarding makes it completely waterproof. We do this all the way around the tub, a little bit outside the tub as you can see too. We want all of our wet areas to be hit with this so that it makes it waterproof because as you know, tile and a shower will be getting wet. Anyway, it starts out pink so you can see the areas you missed and then it turns a dark red once it's all said and done. Next up, we'll be doing the tile and the niche and our 